Hello and welcome. When do you think that the last piston engine dogfight took place? It wasn't in 1949 when propeller driven Spitfires flew against Spitfires during the Israeli Egypt conflict. Nor was it in the Korean War in 1953 when piston powered F 51 Mustangs and F 82 Twin Mustangs were mostly up against jets. No, it wasn't during the Vietnam War where propeller driven A 1 Sky Raiders faced threats from missiles and MiG 21s. In fact, the last piston engine dogfights took place in the skies over Central America in 1969. The combatants were flying US built Corsairs and Mustangs. The dogfights were among the final acts in a brief but bloody four day conflict between Honduras and El Salvador, commonly but misleadingly known as the Football War. Although a pair of soccer games between the two nations sparked the initial riots, the war was a combination of long standing tension over immigration and land reform. Well, they do take their soccer seriously in that part of the world. Honduras boasted the more impressive and better established Air Force. Nearly a dozen aircraft were military surface Voigt F4U4, F4U5s and F4U5N Corsairs bought privately and imported through American aid programs. Several had flown in the Korean War. The Salvadorian Air Force also had Corsairs, about half a dozen worn out Goodyear built models called FG-1Ds. These were replaced shortly before the war with a handful of demilitarized P-51s sold as Cavalier Mustang IIs. Hostilities commenced at dusk on July 14, 1969 when a Salvadorian Douglas C-47 transport escorted by two Cavalier Mustangs released 100 pound bombs over Tonkontin Airport near the Honduran capital. Although this and several other early evening aerial attacks caught the Hondurans by surprise, the damage was primarily psychological. Over the next two days, Salvadorian and Honduran air forces devoted most of their sorties to bombing missions and close air support. On the third full day of fighting, Honduran Captain Fernando Soto and his wingman Captain Eduardo Acosta came to the aid of a third Corsair pilot who'd been surprised by a pair of Salvadorian Mustangs while strafing targets. Soto was among the most experienced pilot in the Honduran Air Force. He pounced on one of the two Mustangs, real, real easy, he recalled later, and with three bursts from his four 20mm cannon, knocked off its left wing. Later that afternoon, Soto and Acosta spotted a pair of Salvadorian pilots flying Goodyear Corsairs. They jettisoned their wing-mounted bombs and climbed above the Salvadorian fighters. During his diving pass, Soto flamed one of the FG-1Ds, but he had no time to save for his victory. He quickly realised that Acosta had remained at altitude to check two Salvadorian Mustangs that had arrived on the scene. Much to Soto's horror, the remaining Salvadorian airplane slid in on his unprotected tail. The two Corsairs, one built by Voigt and the other by Goodyear, each zooming, diving and twisting to get a clear shot at the other. After what seemed a long time, Soto performed a split S that lined him up behind his quarry. He let loose a stream of cannon fire, downing his opponent. This action was the last air-to-air -air engagement between Honduras and El Salvador. Soto ended the war with three recorded aerial kills. He went on to become a director of several aeronautics and was declared a national hero by the National Congress of Honduras in 2003. He died three years later. The Hondurans continued to fly Corsairs for a decade after the football war. Soto's aeroplane, FAH-609, was transferred by legislative decree to the Air Museum of Honduras. Although this aircraft last flew in 1981, its fuselage still carries the white silhouettes of three aeroplanes, two Corsairs 
and one Mustang, the kill markings graphically symbolising the end of an era of propeller-driven dogfights. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe.